Do you guys want to get involved in having fun and potentially changing someone's life? Then tune in to the 24 hour gaming live stream on the 11th of July at 12 noon BST, that's 4am PST, and get involved. We're going to be playing CSGO, GTA 5 and other games, so please set a date in your calendars and load up your Steam accounts. Twitch name is on your screen now. Enjoy the video. So, you've probably heard of me mention most custom ROMs in a lot of my videos, and if you're not here from my other videos, then welcome to the channel, please do subscribe if you're new around here. So in this video, I'm actually going to try and, as clearly as I can, explain to you what custom ROMs are, why you should install them, what benefits you get from them, what devices you can install them on, and if you should install them at all. And maybe I'll delve into a little bit of custom recoveries afterwards. So, what are ROMs? Well, they stand for read-only memory, and what it basically is is the system image of your operating system. So, in this case, Android, and it's kind of the image on your phone that contains the OS, and it's a read-only memory system because you don't really write to the OS. Why change your flash ROMs? Well, you can get a lot more out of your phone using ROMs. So maybe you don't have a lot of money and you've got an old phone, and if it's the one that I will mention later, you maybe want to kind of revive life into it. Who wants to go and spend £800 on a Galaxy S8 Plus when you can spend none, maybe a little bit of your time, and get something that's almost as good in terms of the experience in an older phone that you like and have got used to so you don't have to experience anything new and you don't have to try anything new or get used to anything. Or maybe you want those new features and you want them on your phone and you don't want to go and spend money or you don't want to waste time. You want them to have you want to have them on your phone right now and you can do that most of the time. So what features can you get? Well you can customize your device in many other ways using something like a custom ROM. With something like Knox or Samsung TouchWiz or LG's kind of user interface or maybe HTC Sense or a custom skin on top of Android there isn't a huge amount of customization or customizability and by installing a custom ROM sometimes you get new features especially on the more heavy-duty ROMs because you get way more features such as installing skins changing all of the fonts and everything like that just to suit your needs you can also improve the performance the battery life and the speed of your device overall with a custom ROM it's not just purely form it actually works as function as well. A good example of this is installing a custom ROM that limits Android to its basic functions to give it to your kid with lots of parental controls and stuff that yes you can get in Android or yes you can get in any other OS but isn't quite as good or as specialized and similarly you could get a custom ROM that works really well for a grandma or grandpa who can't really see very well and it gives you extra big buttons and basically there's just a call or text option and there you go, they've got a touch screen, they've got a smartphone and it works and you just made it a hell of a lot easier for them and you didn't spend any money doing this, buying any specialist hardware. What options do you have? Well, with the inclusion of XDA Developers, which is a fantastic website that I really do recommend you guys go and check out, you'll be able to search for any real ROM on any real phone and there's so much support for loads of them. You know, even funny phones like Elephone or Xiaomi, which aren't very popular in the UK, or things like that, or phones that aren't very popular in the US, you know, you get all of these phones that maybe you just got it as a present or it was the cheapest one you could find, you weren't really in control of whether you wanted to get a Samsung or an LG, maybe you've got a low-end device, you'll be able to maximize its potential by going through a website like XDA Developers, which has thousands of forum posts and threads and, and awesome articles about different ROMs, you know, listing all of the specifications, all of the features, and just to see if it's right for you, and you can download it and install it. I would recommend Lineage OS, which was previously known as Cyanogen Mod, and also Paranoid Android and Cataclysm. These, these guys are awesome as well. I definitely do recommend Lineage, though I used to have that on my Nexus. LG phones, Nexi, if you want to call them that, or phones like that are a lot easier to install custom ROMs on uh, rather than Samsung. Uh, Apple iPhones aren't really going to, it's not really going to work for you here, unfortunately. You'll just have to buy an Android device. But for Samsung S8, S7, S6, any real Samsung owners will have to do a hell of a lot of work to change their phone to get it to work with custom ROMs. Now, a lot of people have been able to do this painlessly, and whenever I mention not or anything to do with Samsung and the awkwardness of changing ROMs, they always go, right, what are you talking about? It took like 20 seconds. What's wrong with you? I'm not really sure what world these guys are living in or how incredibly skilled these people are because they probably are. They probably are just very skilled and they just don't understand how difficult it is for us. Uh, but I, it took me a solid five, six, seven hours just to find the ROM that I needed, just as a very standard basic ROM for the S4. And then it took even longer to actually 
install it and do all this, these other things because there were so many issues. And that's a Samsung S4 where NOx wasn't really that prevalent. You know, when you go into the S6, the S7, apparently they get a hell of a lot worse with these kinds of things. And so when you're using a Samsung phone, these are the phones that actually tend to get the worst over time in, certain, in terms of their software. They tend to get not a lot of support at all after the first year. And then even then they get really buggy, you know, their battery life degrades, the performance is dreadful, the software crashes, there's a lot of stuttering. And really it's ironic because those are the phones that you really want to change the ROM on the most, yet it seems more difficult to do that. You, by all means, you can do it. Like I said, I did it on my S4 and there are plenty of guys online that teach you how to root and install custom recoveries and custom ROMs on your device. So just Google them because the internet is a magical place. But of course it is a little bit more difficult or in my eyes, it was a hell of a lot more difficult to do it on a Samsung device as opposed to other devices. Pretty much any Android device you can change the ROM of as long as you have certain control such as routing the device, unlocking the bootloader and stuff like that, which if you read up online, you will learn a hell of a lot more about. That's not what I'm talking about today. Today I'm talking about custom ROMs. You will probably use a tool called ADB and Fastboot or maybe Maybe you'll use Odin for Samsung devices and you'll use these tools as well as your computer and a USB cable. That's pretty much all you need and your phone of course. There's not really any specialist hardware that you will need to install custom ROMs or custom recoveries and if there is then I'm not sure what phone you have. That's crazy. I want to I know what the phone is. Please leave a comment with that. Now what are custom recoveries? Well the recovery is almost like a preemptive UI before you get to the OS. Almost like a BIOS but it's not a BIOS guys. Do not get it confused. What it is is a menu. So say you have a broken OS like maybe your Android is broken it just doesn't work something is bugged it's crashed or it's not compatible or you installed it and you did something wrong or it just kind of broke obviously most of the time it's user error but you know forget that for a minute you need to change it well usually you'd be kind of screwed you wouldn't be able to do anything about it with a custom recovery it allows you to kind of change your partitions change your software change anything that's on the device you can kind of get root access to all the different levels you know you go into your SD card folder all these things and you can change you can sideload the applications on which is what you will do like sideload G apps and sideload the OS on and side sideload a recovery if you've got one of those on there and you will simply just install it like that you will just access it from the recovery you click install or you click install package and you do it all there most of it is done in the recovery slash ADB fast boot whatever and not a lot of it is done in the OS once you boot into the OS which by the way you'll probably want to install G apps first as soon as you boot into the OS that's usually when you do your standard procedure it kind of gives you the menu just just like you've bought a brand new phone and you need to input your name, you know, your Google account and stuff like this, you'll get that after you do the custom recovery. So adding a custom recovery in there is really useful. I'm not really sure why you would not do it. I've never actually installed a custom one without installing a custom recovery or, or there being one on a phone, but definitely a custom recovery is an essential tool. So I know a lot of my YouTube viewers and subscribers are really heavily into their custom ROMs, custom recoveries, anything to do with custom phones. So I'm sure if you leave a question, they will more than likely answer it. I'm not a pro at this guys. I've done this maybe a handful of times. My friends Harry and Rob have done this way more times than me and my subscribers are very very clever in terms of the phone software community they are really really good and I'm sure they'll be able to help you with anything that you really need and if you all have questions for me that no one else can answer then please do comment those too and please subscribe if you're new around here I do make phone videos I tend to make videos on older phones or slightly older phones that people are thinking well the price has come down a bit shall I still buy one of those that's just kind of my job that's what I do um, I will delve into the newer phones eventually but I don't really have the money to be doing that right now I actually use an S7 Edge and LG G2 uh, funnily enough I'll make a video on that soon hopefully you've enjoyed the video like I said if it's informative then you know please like it if you didn't like the video dislike it comment telling me if you liked it disliked it questions anything like that uh, really does help and subscribe if you're new like I said because I do make kind of a lot of these videos so it really does help with the numbers uh, and more people can see these kinds of videos and if you have more questions than you had before then maybe I should do a better job so maybe next time you want to tell me things that you want to see a special video maybe I should do a dedicated video on custom recoveries maybe I should do a dedicated video on a certain phone that you want me to see you want to see me install custom ROMs onto I'm not really sure that I'll have access to it but you can at least ask the question and anything like that maybe you want to know about Windows OS or or maybe 
maybe you, you want me to do like multiple VMs or something. I'm not really sure. You let me know what you want in the comment section below. And I've really enjoyed making these recent videos. Hopefully everyone's really enjoyed them too. I, I've actually put quite a lot of work into these recent videos. Um, before it took me a little while. I had a little bit of time off where I was only uploading once or twice a week. But you real OGs stayed. Uh, some of you did. And I've been watching the recent videos which I've really enjoyed been, uh, been enjoying making. So yeah, please do subscribe. Do all that other stuff. You don't have to at all. Of course, you could just watch this video and click off it like most people do. Um, but I will see you in the next one. My name's been Ryan Thomas. You guys have been awesome. This has been Failtech, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.